the word branding had not really been, either it wasn't invented or we were not aware of it. So we didn't have branding meetings. But because ABC didn't have that problem because it was universally carried, we were still trying to get into homes, trying to get into TV Guide, trying to get into the, I mean, we were still pushing in the early days when I was there. <laughs> you know, this out of context. Um, I, we, we used to kid around because we were like the midgets in the business. And I would say, I would write something on a bulletin board like, um, this isn't the phrase I use, because I use the same phrase all the time, but it's something like, we will bring commercial television to its knees. You know, and when we wrote that, we were like little children who had, who had you know, put some, a curse word on the, on the wall, you know. Ooh, you know, look at that. So, um, I was very aware of the image and that we um, had so much room to grow and that so we had to, the programming had to reinforce the image of the company. The image of the company had to give something off also. And so a lot of our advertising was image advertising. Like I remember, and may he rest in peace, Phil Dusenberry was a Hall of Fame advertising, a BBD and O. Our, our, and we did a lot of great, HBO has great on air. We have had a tradition of sensational on air. Phil came to us and they, they had been doing good advertising for us and you know, we were slowly starting to do more advertising. And what we learned when Joe Collins came to HBO was it didn't do us any good to advertise if the cable operator wasn't conducive to selling HBO and the cable operator would sell basic one month, sell it. We had to coordinate with the cable operators and launch campaigns. So then we began to do seriously coordinated advertising campaigns. And um, uh, Phil came to me and, you know, Phil had done Pepsi and, uh, I mean, he did political stuff for the Republicans. And he said, listen, Michael, I've been in this business a long time. I've got an A-plus slam dunk campaign for you. And I looked at it, I don't remember what it was, I didn't like it. And I always believe that your advertising is as good as the client need, as, as, as the client participates. Because no one knew this business better than me. And we had a on-air campaign called Simply the Best, which was Tina Turner's song. And I said to Phil, I said, you know, listen, and sometimes I was so fast about this that people thought that I was crazy or that I was, you know, but I worked very fast at this stuff. I said, I like simply the best because that's who I want people to think we are. If they're going to pay for it, that's as direct a statement. Tina is hip. BBD and all went out, bought the song, launched the campaign. And simply the best was the precursor to HBO is not just television or whatever that is. So we did a very, I, I mean, I would say we did an excellent job branding HBO at a time when that wasn't even, so when I came out of my job and I did, I, and I hired an agent and I did speaking engagements, they would book me to talk about branding. You know, I said, branding, I mean, how about program? No, no, no. These companies want to hear about branding. 